everybody. Um, I have this beautiful baby that I've been painting. It is the real born Anna Awake. And uh, I'm painting some hair. And I figured I'd come on and do a little video. My voice is a little hoarse. You have to forgive me. Um, so right now I have the brow brown. And then I just have a little container and I put some of the thinner in there. And I'll take my liner brush. I'll dip in there. I'll wipe twice. And then I'll come in and go one, two, sometimes three. And I find a point. I just had to make the swirl and start. And then very, very light strokes. Hopefully you can see this because this is for a customer. And small, thin strokes. If you have a dry spot on the baby, you can place the place. You can place your palm. Grab some more. Now if you get a large amount of color and you don't want it, that's fine. Just dip your brush in your thinner, brush it off, and then just go in with your thinner. And what it'll do is create shading. Now, I do this at a certain point and then I stop and I'll bake and I'll come in and do more until I'm satisfied. Um, so, I mean, you gotta remember that hair is never fully straight. It curves, it moves. Very, very light. And it's a matter of blending and being gentle. put it where you're comfortable and this is how I do it this isn't how everybody does it I'm still a new artist but and I'll go in and add darking and dark and darker and lighter contrasts because your hair is technically all just one solid color um, it gives it depth and um, another effect and I'll show you you also have to decide where you want the hairline to come down on the sides now I never frame it out by framing it out creates too many lines if you want lines you do your wisps that's what I call them and you come down and you make it kind of just float and then it's done. Um, same with the back all the way around. Um, you do a swirl, that's your starting base, and you just work your way from the top out, top out. Now, sometimes I'll work in this area, and then I'll decide I'm going to come over here and work in this area. The thing is, I just make sure I blend my colors throughout. I blend the lines, I blend the hairs. Um, and uh, then you end up with a beautifully painted haired baby. Um, I do also do this before I varnish. And I varnish twice to protect the coat. Um, all the coats of paint that it takes to make these beautiful, beautiful babies. I'm going to go grab the personal one I made for myself. And I'm going to bring it over here and show you guys. One second. Okay, I'm back. And this one is real born uh, Miranda asleep and let me move the camera around so you can see I just went in with the black and went, went in light and then I added in dark and I blended and I had little swirls and 
you know, play with it. Just go in really light. If you do this before you varnish and it's still wet and you feel like you just did way too much, you can go in and very gently you can lift it with a cosmetic wedge. So this one is my little buddy. And then this is going to be for, for a friend of mine that's also uh, purchasing her. And uh, we hope you have a good night.